Welcome to Donger Farm, one of the city's newest conservation land acquisitions. The farm was purchased in April 2015 as a combined effort between the Greater Worcester Land Trust and the City of Worcester's Conservation Commission. The City of Worcester is really committed uh, to making sure that we maintain and, and uh, keep as much open space as possible. Uh, we're a city that is constantly growing and changing and evolving and we want to make sure that we keep uh, some of these opportunities to get outside and enjoy nature, and create habitat for wildlife and you know really just kind of create some open space that you know an otherwise busy bustling city uh, people can enjoy not only now but in the future. This will protect this land and protect this open space in perpetuity so uh, it'll never be built on, it'll never be developed, it'll always be protected for future generations to come out and enjoy and what we see today is what people 100 years from now will say. The 23 acres of open space is available for walking, hiking, bird watching, and other forms of passive recreation. But Donker Farm is not just any old open space. It has been grandfathered in as one of Worcester's last working farms. This particular farm won't be developed uh, into multiple house lots or something else that would kind of take away from the character of this area. Um, it's one of the last working farms in the city of Worcester, and so working in concert with the uh, Greater Worcester uh, Land Trust, we're going to not only maintain the land, but uh, we'll maintain that working farm. Uh, so there'll always be an opportunity to see what Worcester's kind of uh, rural character looked like. In addition to being a significant link to Worcester's agricultural past, Donker Farm is the newest parcel of land to be added to the Four Town Greenway, a quarter of conservation land extending from Salisbury Street in Worcester to Paxton, Leicester, and Holden. So, you can actually walk from one side of the city to the other just on conservation land. You feel like you could be in rural Vermont or you know, New Hampshire or Western Massachusetts, but you're right here in the city of Worcester. Recently, City Manager Augustus and Mayor Petty joined members of the Greater Worcester Land Trust and Conservation Commission to take a walking tour of the farm, located at 46 Torrey Fort Lane with trailhead access located just before you reach the driveway to the house. The house was originally located in Holden until the Holden Reservoir was built in the early 20th century. The house, being on the land that was going to be flooded for the reservoir, was sold and physically moved to its current location. The modern era of Donker Farm began when Elizabeth Donker and her family bought the farm in 1978. We've lived here since 1978. We bought the house on Valentine's Day 1978 during the snowstorm. Despite growing up around animals in her home country of the Netherlands, Elizabeth did not have actual experience farming. So she learned as she went. We kind of grew into it because coming to America, I didn't like the eggs and I didn't like the bread. We got the chickens, had our own eggs. We had the first egg party. Over the years, the Donker family has raised pigs, chickens, geese, bees, milking goats, sheep and ducks and cultivated a vegetable garden and orchards. Elizabeth Donker was able to turn raising animals into a hobby and a craft. We were a fiber farm. We started out with wool and then we had angora goats, which I would go get in Texas. And they, I was the first registered angora goat breeder in New England. Now the farm has a flock of geese, chickens, sheep, dogs and cats. I've got three menopausal sheep. They're old. The sheep become 14, 15. They are about 11. In addition to being an important link to the city's past, the land will serve as another way in which the city can help its residents lead an active and healthy lifestyle. This complements our uh, community health improvement plan, the CHIP, uh, which is to uh, make Worcester the healthiest city by 2020. And part of making people healthy is allowing them to get outside uh, and have some recreational opportunities or ability to walk. The city has a clear need for the land, but what prompted Elizabeth to sell it to the Greater Worcester Land Trust? My husband, Peter, you might not know him, uh, he, um, this was his wish that this land was going to be saved for future use and enjoyment and not houses. We've been working our whole life here to 
preserve it. The property was sold for $628,000 to the Greater Worcester Land Trust. The city's Conservation Commission purchased the conservation restriction from the Greater Worcester Land Trust with the help of a $400,000 land grant administered by the Massachusetts Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs Division of Conservation Services. This means that the Greater Worcester Land Trust will manage the property while the city will assure that the land will remain in its present natural state forever and be available to the public for passive recreation. Elizabeth's children were very supportive of her decision to sell the property as conservation land. Well, my parents have always um, sought to gain more land and to have nature around them and their tagline was always that they're not making any more natural land anymore. And we had seen living here, you know, the groups of deer coming through or other wildlife and you could tell that these are, these are populations that have no place to go. And Colin, you know, laid out the map and he showed how beautifully this land, which stretches up to the back and over toward Moreland Hills, how well that connects from over Cook Pond and the Cascades and what an integral part of that connection this property would play. And we were always, you know, conservation minded and, and we, were, we were all for it. The partnership between the Greater Worcester Land Trust and the city made the purchase possible. You know, we purchased around, I want to say it's about 68 acres over the last several years with uh, Crow Hill and the Equitarium. Uh, so we put a lot of money into the open space. It's, you know, it's expensive, but the city can't afford to do it by itself, and that's why it's great to have a partnership with the uh, Greater Worcester Land Trust and other organizations in trying to get state grants to help us purchase these properties. The Donker property is one of three recent conservation land acquisitions by the city of Worcester. The city purchased 13.7 acres at Crow Hill North in June 2014 and a 6.3 acre conservation restriction at Egotarium West, which is owned by the Egotarium, in May 2015. It's going to be a nice walk. I'm glad that Colin is uh, in the Greater Worcester Land Trust has purchased this land off the city of Worcester in the cooperation. 23 acres of open space. And I want to thank Elizabeth and Dunker Farms for uh, working with us. And it's going to be a great experience. Uh, people can walk and do the walking trails and connect into the neighborhoods of the city of Worcester. But it's all going to provide almost, I would say it's going to be at least 400 acres if you start from Moreland Green Drive and walk through here, go to Cascade Park and go up into Paxton. It's going to be a great Boynton Park. You could uh, you can have a great hiking experience here in the city of Worcester. As for the future, Elizabeth hopes that the farm will become a learning opportunity for area residents. I hope that um, Colin can make this into a, not into a petting zoo, but into a place where people can come and look at animals and realize that they are living loose. You know, they're not tied up, they're not for purpose, they're not for food. The wool, I do spin the wool and I knit the wool and make warm mittens for the neighbors and stuff. But um, I do hope that it is learning and teaching nature and not animal husbandry per se, but to keep some animals is a good idea. So you got chickens, geese, goats, and, sh and so uh, it's, it's, it's a great place to come. Stir has approximately 873 acres of publicly and privately owned conservation land, which is available for passive recreation purposes. 57%, or 494 acres, is owned by the Worcester Conservation Commission. The remainder is owned by the Greater Worcester Land Trust and Mass Audubon. The Greater Worcester Land Trust is already hard at work at Donker Farm, clearing walking paths and posting signage, and they have just built a gate to allow people to pass through while not allowing the sheep to escape. This is nice. A hidden paradise, and it is, um, we've kept it, like, secret.